and we are rolling. Good morning team, how you doing? Coming at you live from my bedroom, from the old farmhouse here in Tasman, and it's a ripper of a day. I haven't got bugger all sleep on board, I probably slept about three and a half hours last night. Turn around to the other mirror, so I'm not going to turn my phone around, it's going to keep on rolling. I'm going to go outside and tear into this day. Tony's arriving any minute with some firewood for me, and then we're going for a hunt. And I can zoom out a bit, I've got some bit stuffed up here, right? Can we go to there? That's better. Right, eh? Good morning, Harold. How are you this morning? You sleep well? I'm bored. I'm sick of being on this bloody wall. Ah, stop your bitching. It's a bloody nice day. God. Can't keep a tar happy. Morning, chickens. How you going? Oh, yeah, you managed to shit on everything. Morning, ducky. Bruno. Bruno. Bruno, sit. Sit. Oh, yeah, sit. Stay. Stop barking. There you go. Where you go? Where you go? So the problem we've got now is this new electric fence going right along here because they're putting sheep on the paddock next door. I'm going to have some sheep in there, and already my dog has had a shock of it. Oh, happy days! You've arrived! But I don't recognise you. I don't know who you are. I recognise the truck. Bloody hell. Good morning, Tony. What the hell's happened to you, man? Look at you. G'day. Jeez, you look like I did a couple of days ago when I went into town and spruced myself up. You've... So why did the bed come off? Is it because you couldn't get any cuddles off your daughter? Or... Yeah. Is that right? Like that, yeah. Okay, what have we got in the truck, mate? Far oh, right. Yeah. Happy days. That's awesome, buddy. That's really awesome. Bruno's marked your truck. Thank you, Bruno. Shit, look at this. Wicked. Oh, that's not as heavy. Probably that bit there. Yeah, right. That's real heavy, eh? Once your fire's going, that shit will last fucking ages on the fire. Okay. Oak. Yeah, oak. Bloody brilliant. The rest is pine. Yeah. You look good pine. without your beard, mate. Yeah. That's actually suits you. You look like a different bloke, though, eh? Yeah, I need a haircut, though, eh? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say that. Well, I would say that, actually. You probably uh, feel better. Yeah. This is um, really um, awesome, bud. Oh, I'll go stack it down by the house. I probably should shift my truck. Yeah. And that's exactly where I got stuck last night. Uh, he's out of there, sweet. So last night I took this truck here, Tony, and went fishing. And when I come home, I got stuck where you just about got stuck because I've lost the four wheel drive on this. It's completely oh. gone. Just gone on it, eh? Haven't got a bloody clue. It's not not driving in the front or the back. I only had one wheel going. One wheel? Yeah, no, she's fucked. I was real gutted, eh? So I can't afford to get that fixed, but I want to get it fixed because I use that all the time, that truck on the farm. But she just got no drive, eh, mate? It's kind of weird, eh, for that to happen. Especially for one wheel. One yeah. wheel go if <clears throat> if it's real slick and you don't have a lock diff, yep. one wheel will go yep. if the other one's on grip, you know what I mean? Yeah, well it says it has a lock diff on it, but I don't think it does. It uh, just knows you didn't go at all. There's no four-wheel drive, nothing in the front. So I'm wondering if a bit of salt water's got inside. These aren't electric, so these are just uh, manuals. I, they had electrics, but I took them off and put manuals on because they're always shit. But she's a cranking good truck. Eh? I use it all the time. And it's legal. That tire's getting a bit bloody flat. But I have to get that fixed because I just use it, you know, every day, use it on the farm. It's the only thing that's, it's like having a tractor, you know, it's got a winch on the front. So you can pull shit out, tow shit, and lucky I had the Hilux to pull it out. We're getting there, bud. It's heaps. Jeez, that's like, like a brick. What the hell's that? Bit of oak? Um, that's that native stuff, I don't know what it's called, eh? Bugger me, it's heavy. So we've got some native, some gum, some old man pine, a bit of poplar in there, a bit of manuka in there somewhere. You see the gum down here. Macacarpa. Macacarpa is a real mishmash off the farm. Bloody awesome. Yeah. 
So Tony's going off to get his fresh haircut. Hey Bruno. Yeah boss. And then he's going to come back. Look at that. And we're going to go for a hunt. You guys are very patient while we stack the firewood, weren't you, eh? Yes, you were. Now don't go near the electric fence. Good dogs. Good dogs. Stay in. Get in pace. Poor old Pink learned about the electric fence yesterday. Good, good Pope. Get in, Pope! Come on. Come on. Through here. Come on. Well, look at the pond. She's bloody real full after the rains. Real full. You're shaking a bit there, Bruno, eh? Getting an old boy. Know the feeling. Good place to have your morning poo. And jeez, does that stink? No, I wasn't talking to you, mate. You too, Poe. Dogs look so embarrassed when they're having a shit, don't they? Like it through here. Often there's a hare or a rabbit up in here. <sighs> Ducks lay eggs down below the bank, and so the Pekikos. See the track we've kind of worn through, worn a path through here as we've walked through, but there's still plenty of blackberry. Beautiful. What you doing, Bruno? Yeah, it's a hot day today, almost too hot to go hunting. Who's that down there? Oh, it's Pink. Hey, Pink, what you eating? Hey, what you doing, Pink? Hey? You're a sweetheart, aren't you, eh? You're a sweet girl. We're going to take you hunting today, too. We sure are. Up. Look, there's the rabbit just running out now, see? <laughs> On the driveway just up there. Not even running away. By that fence post, and off he goes. There's quite a few rabbits down by the lightning tree there. See the lightning tree? Tree killed by lightning. Quite a few hang around there. Where is he in that grass? Tail wagging all the time. Hey, Po. Always a happy dog, eh? Always happy. Yes, you are, mate. Always a happy dog. Didn't say you could jump up. Didn't say you could jump up. Tail wagging. You good girl, eh? You know what day it is, don't you, mate? Saturday. You know what we do on Saturday, don't you, mate? Yeah, we go hunting. That's right. You might get a chance to pull some pork up for us, eh? That'd be good. We've given all our pork away. There's none left in the fridge. None left in the freezer. So it's time to catch some more, girl. Hell yeah. You can enjoy that, aren't you? She loves it. Oh, I love taking her hunting. You're a good girl. Okay, you can bug her off now. This is gorse. I think originally it came from Scotland. I think it was brought over to New Zealand because they thought it'd make good hedges. It's an absolute curse. Grows everywhere in the bush. Pigs like living underneath it, but it's just an absolute curse. You can see the snow on the mountains. Well, over there, behind there is where we'll go today, or beside that. Is that snow will be bringing animals down. We'll hunt around there. Pace always stays close by to me all the time, eh? Tail wagon. You know he's a boss, eh? Oh, 
watch their body language all the time, make sure everything's okay. That'll do. Calm down, you big pussy bee. Pose the alpha. Yeah, good to see the uh, subservient licking around the mouth. See the pup licking around the mouth. Showing that she's a boss. Actually, the real boss is this fella here, eh? You don't have to prove anything, do you, Bruno? No. What a beautiful place to live, right there. If money wasn't an obstacle, that's where I'd be living. I put the rubbish out here last night, and of course that was a dumb idea because, as you can see, the rats got straight into a coconut cream container and made a big bloody mess. Yeah, that's right, not for you. That's for chickens and ducks. Oh, there you go, mate. There you go, there's your little pile. There you go. Come and get it. Hey, good old ducky. Yeah. We cut that one already. So that will be for Bruno, that will be for Poe, all the pups, or the rat pack at least, these guys here, and the leftover bit for Ducky. Mmm. So, looks like this now. Eat up. Oopsie, that didn't work. Here, yeah, Bruno, have a quarter. Eat up. Good girl, Poe. Haven't forgotten about you guys. What do you want? Hey? You're good. You want more? To wait till I fed the pups. Eat up. Uh oh. Chicken's getting duckies, posse. Um, that's not for you, mate. If you want to end up in the pot, you just keep coming close here. Yeah? There you go. Come on, move along. Makes life better, folks. You got it. Bacon. Mm. We know what you can smell, don't we? Yeah. So I was going to have four bits of bacon this morning. Hey, Bruno. But then I decided, why not have seven? And I remember my old motto, and that is that you simply... Cannot ever have too much bacon. Perfect. My seven bits of bacon have suddenly become six bits of bacon. There's already been a casualty. Mmm. I can tell you it's fucking good. Oh, I hate it when eggs break like that. Maybe these eggs aren't uh, fresh. Well, the chickens will be laying very soon. These aren't mine, these are shop bought. That's better. A little bit of olive oil. You find a bit of my tomato, eh? So while those are cooking, I'll show you my salad. This is only a tiny salad for me, like it's more of a decoration, really. A bit of seasonal salad. Uh, some alfalfa sprouts. A whole avocado and some... Olives, normally I would have like a whole bowl of salad because you're not going to get the potassium requirements you need from that little bit, but it's 
just something to kick the day off with. And these eggs are just about ready. Putting a sprinkle of salt, pink Himalayan salt on everything. If you're on a ketogenic diet, you want to have at least a teaspoon of salt a day, minimum. That's what I call a breakfast. Hell yeah. This is a serious breakfast. So after I've scoffed this down, I'm going to get all the collars and stuff ready for the dogs because we're going for a hunt. And uh, I'll be filming that with my SX70 camera, that one there. And I'll manage to get the strap on the egg and my plate. Well done, Clay, you fucking idiot. Uh, then I will use this one here as well. If we go down to the bale, the pig, strapped on my head, or maybe young Flynn who's coming with us today will film with that. And I will edit a full video if we get a kill. If we don't get a kill, I probably won't. Uh, and that'll be on my Patreon because that will show blood, guts, and also I'm not taking my S10 plus Galaxy phone into the scrub because I've gone through God knows how many over the last last five years. I'd hate to think the insurance company no longer will insure me I've lost so many. But I will have the uh, phone in the truck so we'll try and capture a little bit of that today for you if we can. Otherwise, be a good bastard and jump onto my Patreon. It only costs like two bucks American a month starting to watch everything. Hmm. Avocado with olive is one of my little fetishes. It's kind of a weird taste. Sometimes weird tastes are good. This bacon is nitrate free. I can't taste the difference. I don't know why they have to put nitrates in. I guess it uh, helps preserve it. I don't know. Someone answered that question, but I can't really taste the difference. Mmm, that's good. What do you reckon about his new haircut? Do you reckon it's flash? <laughs> Sorry, ladies, he's already taken. He's got a lovely wife. I reckon it's very sharp. Thank you. Put a suit on you. No, nah, fucking hell, never wear I don't even wear a suit for my wedding. Did you? No. Nah. Why not? Because I'm just not into suits. <laughs> I wore a suit the other day. I felt kind of cool, actually. I felt like I was sort of like you know, mafia. I felt like mafia, or I was kind of like, um, I don't know, you know, men in black, even though it was a blue suit, and all sort of like, I don't know, I felt special. And I noticed when I went in shops, people served me more, eh? Oh, yeah. Give Different. you more attention. And the lady in the dairy in Mapua, she said to me, because um, I'd, I'd been um, getting this legal advice and that, and she said to me, <laughs> you look like you can get away with anything in that suit. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Anyway, uh, we're going for a hunt. I'll try and get some footage for you guys if I can, but it's on the phone. The phone will mostly be staying in the truck. That's uh, B making a racket in the back now. We just had Flynn joining us and his dog, Tama, and B's being a typical dog. That'll do, B. B, shut up. You're a good dog, aren't you, Pace? Hell yeah! <laughs> Just sort B out, making a racket. That'll do, B! That's enough, B! Stop your barking! Stop it! What's interesting is that my father used to hunt with Flynn's granddad, Ted Morgan. No barking, B! The Kohatu Flat Rock Cafe does a mean coffee if you were passing through here. It's uh, just bloody brilliant. I always get one when I come through. And uh, it gives me that lift just before I go for a hunt. The staff are really friendly in there too. It's kind of a cool place in the middle of nowhere really. Check it out. Oh, perfect. Well, we've covered quite a lot of quite a lot of territory today. It's quite cold up where we are, and we've just missed out on the chance. Well, we're going to catch a pig. That would probably probably hit. See if it was stuck in the bloody door. What happened there was uh, B actually lifted that pig after doing a sort of a circuit around here, and we heard it crunching and breaking out. You know, the noise it was making would suggest it was quite a decent sized pig. But we had no other dogs with us, and he led a couple of. Trying to get help from the other dogs and tracked it off about 300. 
and come back in with a bit of his own blood on him just through all the sticks. So, try one more place, but it's not looking flash for pork in the freezer. You win some, you lose some. We lost that one. Just got home now and cracked the fire. Good fire with Tony. Dropped off young Flynn at his place. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's been a bloody and awesome day, but no pigs. Tony just left. We got onto two. B found one, which he couldn't stop by himself. And then Poe and Pace tracked one for a long time. And every time we drove to the other side where the pig was, it heard the truck and went. It's the second weekend in a row I haven't caught any pork. And it's frustrating, if I'm honest. Can't catch all the time, but I, I want to kill. I've got no pork left, and uh, I'm eating bloody avocado for dinner tonight, and I'd rather be eating pork. This is not what I really wanted. Mm. I'm grateful to have that. Anyway, that was today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will be reporting back with another snap vlog very soon. Be good. And if you cannot be good, be careful. See you later.